So the first order of business is you need to create your own Salesforce developer account. Now you may be watching this lecture as part of one of my certification courses, new user courses, workshops, or boot camps. Regardless of whatever I teach, one of the first lectures that I always do is how to sign up for a free account. Now, don't let the word developer scare you off if you're a non-coder. It doesn't matter if you're a developer, administrator, consultant, or if you're not even sure of what your path is on the Salesforce platform quite yet. Salesforce provides a free developer edition of Salesforce so that you can learn on their platform. And so you just simply go to developer.salesforce.com slash sign up and fill out the form. It's very simple. You just enter in your first and last name, your email address, select a role from the drop down here and it really doesn't matter what you select it won't affect the addition of the free developer account that you receive this just helps salesforce segment you into one of multiple lists that they may have so that they can market to you and also to provide you with their own educational content based on what your desired path is and so just make a selection in the role and then for your company, I just enter in a company name. I put the path here to the sign up page just to really highlight this more. This is the page that we're on is developer.salesforce.com slash sign up. But you can just put your own name here for the company name. I'm going to putting mine here or I probably should put my company name depending on where you might be watching this. Um, so put in either your name or the company name that you want to be associated with. And also bear in mind, if you're uh, learning Salesforce and you're working for a company, you may want to use an email address that's a personal email address so that if you change employment, you don't lose your free developer account. You want an active email that you will always have access to. Now for your username here at the bottom of this form, it's important that the username be unique across all Salesforce platforms in existence. So if you already have one or multiple Salesforce accounts, you can't just enter in your email address again. It needs to be something that's unique. And so what I tend to do is put a dot and then I give some sort of descriptive phrase here on the end to tell me or remind me of what this particular account is for. Now the username does need to be in the form of an email address. So if you're brand new to Salesforce and you've never had an account on the platform before, you can go ahead and just enter your email address here and that will work fine for your username. But for those of you that have already had accounts on the Salesforce platform, then go ahead and put a dot and then fill in the blanks as far as what will help you remember what this is about. So for example, if you're a member of my bootcamp, you would do dot bootcamp. If you're going through in, uh, one of my workshops, you could put workshop here. If you're learning about artificial intelligence dot AI, you get the point hopefully. So check the checkbox and then click sign me up. That will take you to a landing page where they are asking you to confirm your enrollment into the platform and checking your account. So check your email and you will receive an email from Salesforce where you simply click through the email to confirm your account. That will take you to a page where you set your password. It's very important that you set your password and that you remember what your password is and they will also provide you in that email with where you go to log in and that is login.salesforce.com so just watch for that email confirm your account set your password and then be sure that you don't lose that password